people have asked me how I make my dangles. So these are, I've basically combined everything I've learned from people I've met that use different dangles and this is just what I've found to work the best for me. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a, a bit of Dacron. So this is basically going to be your base of, of, your, of your dangle. You're going to need some super glue, uh, you'll see why at the end. Uh, some rat rattles, so if you're fishing for cob, these rattles are pretty good. I don't know if you're going to hear this, but if I take this out, hear that bit of a, a rattle sound. Um, and then you're going to need some high density foam, so yeah, this is some high density foam. You're going to need a knife, any sharp knife, I'm just using my Leatherman here. Uh, you've got some split rings here, uh, this is so that you can attach your dangle to your sinker. Uh, to clip it so that when your bait is flying you can get that extra distance so that you don't have two pieces that are apart and twisting turning when you want to get hit that back bank so distance is important when you want to reach the back banks you're going to need some cotton so this is just some latex cotton in an old an old box and matches and you'll see why we use these uh, use these matches now Cutting your corners off like this makes it easier to cotton your bait on. Okay, uh, so you've got it like that, then just going to cut a line down the middle of your foam. So just like this. You want it fairly deep so that you can put your put your rattle in, so there's the rattle um, now we're just going to give it a bit of a, a slice in here and you'll take your rattle and you'll piece it in here, just like this so after this you'll cut a piece of Dacron and your Dacron will go in this foam and that is what you hear, so when this is moving sort of mimics this mimics the scales of a mullet so when a mullet is swimming the scales brush past each other and it sort of makes the sound so yeah got that now you want to measure your dacron so you want your essentially the piece that you're going to use of your dacron to be this long but you need to give yourself some extra for the loop that you're going to make and the knot that you're going to make to put your hook in okay so can start now by just doing a, a little bit of a palomar knot. So just give ourselves some room like this. And yeah, we've got our palomar. So this is just a simple knot, guys. A simple, simple palomar knot. Um, so what you can do here is you can either super glue this or you can attach a split ring to this. Um, if you super glue this, this gets hard and then uh, it sits fuss on your sinker when you clip it. When it's a bit loose like this, uh, yeah, sometimes it might not separate from your sinker when it hits the water. So you just want to watch for that. But uh, that's where I usually use these because they, uh, they work. So that's this part of it. So now we'll just take this. We'll see there. And then at the end we need to make a knot. So we'll give ourselves about a centimeter and a half uh, just to make a, a little knot at the end. We can make that two centimeters even. The scissors, I forgot to forgot to mention that. So you'll need a scissors. Cut that off and Cut this piece off here. So here we are. Then we can see here. So we want the knot a bit more down. There we go. So this position here is about perfect. So you can see, put that in there. We put this in. 
So when we tie it, so we'll cotton this together, and then over here we'll have the piece that clips onto the sinker, and over here we're going to burn this, and you're just going to push your hook through this. You can leave a bit of a gap there, as you can see. So when I cotton the foam onto this Dacron, I usually squeeze it. I squeeze the foam as I go, so that it just becomes a little bit more dense in the water. So that's also a little tip. Okay, so we can take this out now. And give it a bit of a cut here. Yeah. Phew, guys, that that really ignited properly. Okay, so you want him just like that. Okay, so you'll just soften it like that. Now this piece here is not going to come undone because it's it's burnt. So all the, the material, the strands are burnt together. So this won't come undone. Then what we can do is also just burn this knot a little bit. So that this doesn't come undone. So now I've got a perfectly good base for our dangle. So now this will just fit in here. Just like this. And you can see now why I cut the corners of it so that when we tie it on, uh, it's a nice uniform shape. It's a streamlined shape so that when you throw in, you also get that bit of extra distance and your bait will go nicely against this. So. There you have it, that's your, that's your dangle guys. So this is how it looks. And then this here, you will either super glue or you will put this split ring on. And this will clip onto your sinker and I'll just show you guys with the, with the super glue. So let's get it out. Let's see, okay. So we'll just add a little bit of super glue. Now what you can also do sometimes, you can even just put a little bit of super glue onto your dangle itself to keep it even more fuss. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Yeah, so the super glue is set. This is now hard. And this is what's going to clip onto your sinker. And if you just listen here, can you hear that rattle? So guys, that's your dangle. Um, I hope this video helps. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like to see. Let me know uh, what you think of this. Um, and yeah, let me also know if you catch fish on it.